Shalom, 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 Israel. Give it no praise to Yahweh. Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Machak, and Dash. Double honest to the hell is a gym. Mess with Ruba, salutations to you. I came out there pushing this word and truth to the city, risking your freedom and your life to do so. More so now than ever before, because we are close to the end. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in a group chat with a few of the um, brothers, and uh, one of the brothers put, sent me, uh, well, sent in the chat this. Uh, this article now this is as of may 14th so this is about two months ago respectively and uh it says 150 year old stained glass widow reveals um it says jesus christ but it's really his because he was a hebrew so his hebrew name is yahweh mashiach uh with dark skin which we've been saying it so i'll read that again 150 year old stained glass widow reveals yahweh with dark skin Stirring questions about race because um, vocab in them, especially vocab, no cab, whole cab, Malone, and other of these uh, Christian apologists and Roman Catholics and uh, Christians, uh, they like to say that race and color doesn't matter when it pertains to the scriptures, but race and color has everything, not necessarily color, but race has everything to do um with the Bible because the Bible deals specifically with race it really deals specifically with the children of Israel okay which is a nation of people uh, it's different races within one nation of people which is you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans so a lot of these Christians like to give this argument about okay you know race doesn't matter or color doesn't matter yes color doesn't matter when it comes to the uh, scriptures um, Bible but color is in the scriptures. And what you're going to find out is a lot of these people don't know a damn thing about this Bible. All right. Because the Heavenly Father didn't give them the understanding to uh, to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. OK, so obviously to some brothers, this is no no major news. But to others, this is this is shocking. OK. Which we've been saying this and we got scriptures to back it up, which I'm going to bring out in a few. So let's read a little bit of it. This is from the New York Post. It says, uh, and this is the picture right here. And according to the Bible, he would be a lot darker than that. All right. And we're going to get the scripture. It said a nearly 150 year old stained glass church window that depicts a dark skin for, for, for the article. Say I read it. It has it spoke uh, written. A dark-skinned Jesus Christ interacting with women in New Testament scenes has stirred up questions about race. Rhode Island's role in the slave trade in the place of women in 19th, 19th century New England society. The window installed at a long-closed St. Mark's Episcopal, Episcopal Church in Warren in 1878 is the oldest known public example of stained glass on which Christ is depicted as a person of color that one expert has seen. In quotation, this window is unique and highly unusual. It's unusual because uh, Esau has lied, all right? Esau has lied his, his, his butt off. So it said Virginia Ragoon, Ragoon, uh, a professor of humanities emeriti, emerita at the College of the Holy Cross in Worc Worcester, Massachusetts, and an expert on the history of stained glass art. I have never seen icon iconography for that time. Uh, all right, because, you know, a lot of the images was destroyed. It says the 12 foot. 12 foot tall, 5 foot wide window depicts two biblical passages in which women, also painted with dark skin, appear as equals to Christ. One shows Christ in conversation with Martha and Mary, the sister of Lazarus from the Gospel of Luke. The other shows Christ speaking to the Samaritan woman at the well from the Gospel of John. The window made by the Henry E. Sharp studio in New York had largely been forgotten until a few years ago when Hadley Arnold and her family bought the 4,000 square foot, 370, 371 square foot meter 
Greek Revival Church building, which opened in 1830 and closed in 2010 to convert into their home. All right. So this is supposed to be um, the Samaritan woman at the well. She's holding a bucket, you know, probably of water. Uh, the window is the oldest known public example of stained glass on which Christ is depicted as a person of color. Uh, I'll read a little bit more. When four stained glass windows were removed in 2020 to be removed with clear glass, Arnold took a closer look and it was a cold winter's day with the sunlight shining at just the right angle and she was stunned by what she saw in one of them. The human figures had dark skin. See, people are going to be... Um, People are going to be astounded and shocked, astonished that, first off, the Hebrews or the Jews, the real Jews, which is from the southern kingdom of the tribes of uh, the children of Israel, are so-called dark-skinned people, all right? Yes, Jesus, so-called Jesus, was a dark-skinned man. Mother Mary, the, his mother, was a dark-skinned man. Uh, it's a dark-skinned woman, excuse me, Salakia. Mother, uh, his father Joseph, which had intercourse with his mother, um, biblically is a dark skinned man. King David, King Solomon, all these characters were dark skinned men. Paul, dark skinned man, he'd be considered a, uh, a West Indian today, okay? All right, Moses, dark skinned man. You're gonna find out a lot of the characters in the Bible are dark skinned people, all right, and not just dark skinned people. You got Ephraim, or you got the Northern Kingdom, which is the Latino tribes, and the Native American tribes, which also are Israelites, according to the Bible. So people are going to be shocked that all these lies are being uncovered, and, and, and it's about to be blown in your face, all right? And we got scriptures. Let me see with the time, Salakia. We're going to get a few scriptures. Revelations 1. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Yahweh Mashiach Which the Most High gave unto him To shew unto his servants Things which must shortly come to pass And he sent and signified it by his angel Unto his servant John So John was going to uh, be revealed certain things That later, later down the road The servants of the Heavenly Father Was supposed to see All right, And we're going to get one of the revelations That John saw Revelations 1 to 1 13, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one leg unto the Son of Man. So, this is, this is who you call so called Jesus, which his name is Yahweh Shah. This is who you see uh, Yahweh Shah. Clothes with a garment down to the foot and girdled about the patch with a golden girdle, because that's the attire of the Hebrews. That's what we wore. Long clothes, long garments down to the floor to cover ourselves. We wasn't walking around Jerusalem with our shirt off and you know, flexing our muscles or our woman wasn't having mini skirts on and, and, and showing off their breast. That was uh, indecent. OK, so the Hebrews, we being the Hebrew Israelites, we wasn't wearing that in ancient time. Well, our ancestors wasn't wearing that. Uh, it said uh, he go to about the past with a golden girdle because he wore like a, a wrestler, like a like a wrestling a gore belt. To protect his rib, but it was all gold. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So it's, it was woolly in texture and white in color, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay, now we got the picture of what wool looks like. Come on, man, you can't make this up. Now tell me that's not on an African American's hair. So-called African Americans are the only ones that have hair like wool. But well, this time his hair was uh, white. See, look at this. This is wool. Tell me a so-called Negro when he grows hair out. It don't look like that, but just black. Look. Now, this would look like a, 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 a old a Rastafarian, uh, Rastafarian Negro, West Indian. This is how he would look. That's how his hair would look. All right? So that's wool. It said, uh, and, and if you want further proof, verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass. What is brass? As people get to get tripped up with brasses. Let's look at brass. Um, brass, let me see. Whatever. Look at a penny. Penny is brass. 
as if it burnt in a furnace. So if you burn anything or you burn metal in a furnace, what color does it turn? Black, okay? So Yahweh Shah, or who the world ignorant called Jesus Christ, was a so-called black man out of the tribe of Judah. And not only him, but the Jews alone, the black Americans, are, uh, are the tribe of Judah. And so his voice has a sound of many waters because he had a very deep voice. Um, let's read one more. Is the reason why you don't know. John, uh, Job 9 verse 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covereth the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And because the so ever since the so-called white man took power, he has covered up the faces of the true judges. Um, and that's why people are astonished to see that um, Christ, who you call Christ, will be a so-called black man, which he is. And he's coming back very soon to deliver his people, uh, you Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So with that, I want to say shalom.